Uh, technical questions, if I might, Mr. Moderator. Um, it's my understanding that um, according to this uh, RSA, uh, the vote to adopt the question shall conform with RSA 40, colon 14, Roman 6. Instead of B? Well, that's what it says. I, uh, I just printed it out last night. Yeah, I got a copy of it. Let me... Uh... Or is it going 40, 40 colon 14, Roman 6? All right, let's take a look at that. That's it, yeah, that's defined in B, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, if you reference uh, Roman 6, it says, it's a, it's a little confusing, although it first appears clear, <laughs> like a lot of laws. Yeah. It says, if a three-fifths majority, so while it's our present presentation says a majority vote required, Roman 6 says a 60% majority is required. Um, I know that is not, was not in the petition, uh, but it, I think it ought best be resolved now. Yes. Uh, but further, Mr. Moderator, I'll point out the rest of that sentence also reads, uh, a majority of those voting on the question vote yes, RSA 40 colon 13, shall apply. So it's cross it's cross referencing to a different RSA. So I'm not sure whether this applies, although there is an explicit reference to it. There's an explicit dereference as well. <laughs> yeah. So the issue in, in this may not be the moment to um, to rule on it. It may take Mr. Gerald some study, but the point has raised and uh, I understand the petitioners didn't include majority vote required, but the issue is what um, what type of vote is required to shift uh, development of the um, or calculation of the default budget to the budget committee. Is it majority yeah. or is it three-fifths? So that's point correct. well taken and, and um, I, I know the town will, uh, will need to look at that and uh, get us an answer before those ballots are printed so that we can alert the voters whether it's a three-fifths or a majority. Thank you. Um, and the other, the other point was that uh, um, this RSA also requires that the governing body, which is, of course, the Board of Selectmen, uh, hold a public hearing on this matter. And uh, it has to take place no later than 30 days, no more than 30 days prior to the election, so and, and not, not less than 15 days. And it requires a seven-day notice. Okay. okay. So we're looking at, we need to have, uh, your notice needs, to, the Board of Selectmen's notice needs to go out within the next week or so. Okay. Uh, or this becomes potentially an invalid petition because of that duty not being performed. So I wanted to highlight that to be sure that we're that gets all, done. all aware of that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Chairman, if I just might add one other item to the deliberative session sure. comments. There's that warrant article number 43 about uh, shifting the responsibility of the uh, default budget determination to the budget committee as opposed to the selectmen. A point was brought up as to whether or not that required, instead of a majority vote, a three-fifths vote. And it turns out I had done some research at that time and uh, determined, yes, it does need a three-fifths vote. Uh, it also needs a public hearing uh, noticed in the paper within a certain time frame prior to March 14th. And so I'd also let the manager know that. So I just wanted the board to know that. So we will be having a public hearing the 27th. The 27th, and we will so note that in the newspaper. Or... Yes, we will. Okay, thank you. Adds, adds for town council's approval tomorrow. So. Very good. Thank so. you.